I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on factorial notation. The question here is if n plus 2 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial is equal to 210, find n. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, I hope you remember what is the meaning of n factorial. So, let's write down what is n factorial and then we'll answer the question. n factorial means product of the numbers in a sequence, right? n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on, right? So, this series could be written in short with the factorial notation. What we have here is n plus 2 factorial in the numerator and n minus 1 factorial in the denominator. Let us rewrite this in a simpler form n plus 2 times if you take away 1 you get n plus 1 and if you take away 1 you get n and then what you get is n minus 1. Now since n minus 1 factorial is in the denominator we'll kind of stop here. We can actually cancel these two factors and simplify the given expression. So what we get here is that this is equal to n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n and all this is given to us as equal to 210. So we can write this as equal to 210. So that is how we get a cubic equation. Now one way to solve this cubic equation is definitely that you expand this, you get cubic and then you do trial and error. But what we can do is, we can do trial and error now, correct? Now here is a neat technique of solving such a question. At this stage, we can actually work with factors of 210. Right. So we have 210, we need to multiply two numbers rather three numbers to get 210. How do we get those numbers? Well, let's factor 210. So this is a very handy technique which you could always use. So 21 times 10 for example, 7 times 3 and 2 times 5 are the prime factors of 210. Now we are looking for three consecutive numbers, right? So see this as, as what? as product of three consecutive numbers. So from here, these factors remind you that this could be written as 5 times 6 times 7. And the lowest number in this 5, 6 and 7 is 5. So if you compare, that means n should be equal to 5. Do you get an idea? So that is how we could easily solve this question. Perfect. Now, in a multiple choice question, when you get something like this, you could actually give a value and then work out backwards. You just try out one of these numbers and see, do you get 210? If yes, well, that's your answer. So that could be even a shorter way of getting the right answer. I hope that works. Great. Now, just practice. How will you find solve this question? Instead of this, if I give you n plus 1 over n minus 1, both factorials, equal to 210. And let's say the choices are 14, let me write some numbers, 15, 16, and D is none of them. Right? So that is a question for you to work on. I hope you got the method, correct? So try this out. Thanks for watching and all the best.